This violent explosion ripped through the heart of a small town, killing 15, wounding hundreds, and fueled by a common fertilizer. So could it happen here? Thanks for choosing us tonight. I'm Katie Rammel. And I'm Steve Irvin. That blast was fueled by the chemical ammonium nitrate, which can be found around our state. ABC 15 investigator Lauren Gilger, along with the Arizona Center for Investigative Reporting, spent months trying to track down this chemical in Arizona. Our exclusive investigation begins in West Texas. The ceiling came in inside the house. It's been a full year since the fertilizer plant in West Texas exploded. The roof seemed like it went up and came back down. 15 people died, hundreds injured. The implosion effect from that blast drew everything inward. I was in shock. The damage so extensive, entire neighborhoods were destroyed. Councilman Steve Vanek spent the past year helping to rebuild the city of West. There's still a lot of people reeling and hurting. They didn't realize the danger. It seems no one did. The ammonium the nitrate never entered into our mind. And as, as, as firemen here in West, it, nothing was ever happened. It was a safe plant. In hindsight, he says they were too complacent. First responders and people who grew up around the plant should have been more aware of the potential danger. And now the federal government has declared the explosion should have never occurred. You know, hindsight's 2020. So are we any safer here in Arizona? What happened in Texas could certainly happen here. Steve Brittle is a longtime advocate fighting for better enforcement of hazardous chemicals in Arizona. We don't have a handle on it at all. Facilities that have large amounts of hazardous materials are required by law to report them to the Arizona Emergency Response Commission. The list might surprise you. While big fertilizer operations have to report, so do gas stations, farms, water treatment plants, pool supply shops, and even grocery stores. But there's a loophole, specifically for ammonium nitrate. If it's sold as a fertilizer, there's an agricultural retail exemption that means they don't have to report. The ABC 15 investigators found there's a lot the state doesn't know. They don't know how many facilities fall under that retail exemption, and they don't know how many facilities aren't reporting the chemicals they should. Mark Howard is in charge of the reporting. How many facilities that store hazardous chemicals in the state do you think you don't know about? I wouldn't even want to try to guess. I would say there's dozens and dozens of them. After the explosion in West, the Texas State Fire Marshal encountered the same problem. They didn't know where all of the ammonium nitrate was in the state. But what happened there could very easily happen somewhere else. He put inspectors on the ground, went to every facility, and made it searchable by zip code on this website. I think a citizen should know what's next door to them. But in Arizona, it's harder to get to that information. The ABC 15 investigators researched and found 73 fertilizer fertilizer plants statewide. Of those, Howard told us only four reported having ammonium nitrate. All are located near people's homes. Do you think that a good number of those were fell under that agricultural it's, exemption? It's a possibility. I honestly, I don't know. Apache Nitrogen Products, just south of Tucson, has the largest amount of ammonium nitrate in the state. A combined 80 million pounds. That's 148 times more than in West Texas. While Apache reported their chemicals to the state, we went to visit their local fire department in the town of St. David, Arizona, population 1,700. We wanted to see if they have it. It is really important that facilities like this work with their local fire departments. By law, Apache Nitrogen is required to tell them what kinds of hazardous chemicals they store and make. We really have no idea. We found the St. David Volunteer Fire Department has no paperwork from Apache. Apache Nitrogen told us in a statement safety is its number one priority across its entire site. And they are in constant communication with the fire departments in their area. It all comes down to the first response knowing what's in their area. Arizona State Before Fire Marshal fire. Bob Barger would like to see some kind of statewide tracking of ammonium nitrate so first responders don't walk into a trap. You don't want to go to a barn fire and think you have a barn fire and there's 20,000 tons of ammonium nitrate in there. But Brittle says emergency planning in Arizona passes the buck to first responders. Well, so much for emergency planning. So who's left? the families who live nearby. If you know the potential of what's there and you're close, if it were to explode and it would cause you some major damage, you get in your car and you leave. Oh, shit. That's not what happened in West. People came close to the fire to watch. I don't want this to happen to anybody else. Lauren Gilger, ABC 15 News.